The pronoun debate is a hot topic these days, and it's hard to find a lot of content online that makes a lot of sense. It said that he wants to get food for herself. Um, so I was wondering if you wanted to go with them. Oh, she's a really good cook. Yeah, he'll make sure you leave full. Maybe you should go talk to them, see if it wants to come over for dinner later. But today I stumbled across this video on TikTok, of all places, that really makes a lot of sense and manages to put into words what I have been thinking and kind of feeling about this issue, but couldn't quite articulate so well. And it also happens to be quite educational. But before I share this little nugget of gold with you guys, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell, and maybe while you're at it, hit the like button because your support means the world to me. And I thank you so much for it in advance. I know when you say, hello, my name is Kim. My pronouns are she, her. What you will say is that you are just telling me how you want to be addressed so that I can speak to you respectfully. Pronoun etiquette? I didn't know there was one. During introductions, don't compel someone to share pronouns. Duh. Partially conjugate the pronouns you use during introduction. For example, my name is Susanna. I use she, her, hers pronouns. That's not weird at all. Do not say I use female pronouns or I use male pronouns. No, don't do that. Do not joke or say things like, well, I use he, him, his pronouns, obviously. Why would I do that? Asking people to share pronouns does not tell you anything about a person's identity, just how they'd like to be addressed. Didn't we just say when we're not supposed to ask people their pronouns? But in any case, I'm not really thinking about people's identity when I speak to them. I'm not interested, really. It's okay to be uncomfortable with something new. Practice lessons discomfort. In other words, it's okay to make a fool of yourself on a regular basis. Great. Let's continue. But we're both quite clever, you and I. And we know that that's really not what's happening, is it? You see, when I address you, when I speak to you, I use something in grammar called second person pronouns. I'm the speaker, the first person, and you are the second person. And when I'm speaking to a second person, what I do is I use the pronouns you, your, yours, and so on. So I'll say, hi, how are you? How was your day? Is that your car over there? Right? It would be really strange if I somehow managed to slip in a he or a she. Hello, how are she? <laughs> we don't do that. It sounds completely wrong. When I'm talking to you, the second person, about a third person who's not here, or if I'm just thinking about that third person, then I'll use the third person pronouns. Those are the ones like he, she, hers, his, etc. So um, his name is John. She's not a very nice person. That's his car. That's her house, you know, and, and so on. Um, and the difference is quite clear. So when you, quite uninvited, uh, declare your pronouns to me, in spite of what you might say, you are not telling me how to address you. You are not telling me how you like to be spoken to. What you're telling me is how I must think about you and how I must speak to everyone else in the world when I refer to you. You might think it's okay to control me in that way. You may think that you have a good justification for doing so. But at the very least, let's be honest about what you're doing because that's how I like to be spoken to. This guy is spot on on this topic. I could not have said it better myself. Some of the pronouns people say they use are ridiculous. And today I'm going to show you how to use rat rats pronouns and sentences. So let's go. But even the classic he, she pronouns don't make sense if they don't align with the person you're speaking about. It can actually cause a lot of confusion and using they and them to refer to one person just is grammatically incorrect. So it again causes a lot of confusion. You just can't expect people to adjust their speech to accommodate your special needs. That's really pretentious and demanding. If you look like a she, I will use the she, her, hers pronouns. If you look like a he, I will use the he, him, his pronouns. It will just happen naturally. I won't need to stop and think who I'm talking about and adjust my speech accordingly. And I find it really entitled of people to expect others to do that for them. Just because people don't follow your demands doesn't mean they're being disrespectful. It's just because it doesn't come naturally, because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't click. Anyway, let's check out the comment section, shall we? Let's see what people think. 
Exactly right. If people ask for my pronouns, I tell them how you refer to me and my absence is up to you. But my adjectives are brilliant and fab. Oh, mine are too. I use pronouns so that others, especially those who identify differently than is assumed, know that I'm a safe person for them. So it's not about me. Oh, isn't Jennifer a nice person? I have a question for you, Jennifer. If you had a friend who suffered from body dysmorphia and she thought she was really fat, but in reality she was super skinny, would you say to her, yeah, you're really fat? No, you wouldn't, would you? Because you wouldn't be doing her any favours if you did that. The sooner she can see reality for what it is, the better the decisions she'll be able to make in her own life. So really you're not doing any favours to anyone by lying to them. Good point. I'm trans and I honestly don't care how others address me. What matters to me is being comfy in my own skin. That's right. Then someone replied to him, in the event that someone refers to you in the third person in your present, wouldn't you like them to know your pronouns? So this person wants Joel to have problems that he doesn't have. That's nice, thanks. If I tell someone my pronouns, I expect them to be respected. If they aren't, I don't want to be around those people because they are disrespectful. Sorry to say this, Jeffrey, but they probably don't want to be around you either. This is such an odd hill to die on, lol. And the creator said it would be, yeah, so let's not die on it. But Angelina says, no, it's not. Denying reality can have real implications for women in their safe spaces. I refuse to participate in delusion. You know, she's got a fair point there. I think that we need to draw some lines and they can't be crossed. I'd love to read your thoughts in the comment section below. So see you there and thanks for watching, my friends. Until next time.